WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, Thursday morning, 30 minutes to go until the opening bell. And we got markets pulling back a bit. The NASDAQ. Why not? NASDAQ holding on to positive prices so far, up 44 points, trading at 10,849. We get the S&Ps negative by one, trading at 32.63. That's more than 20 points, though, off the highs we had overnight of 32.8450. You're looking at a Dow negative by 34 points, 26,849. Gold contract catching a bid, but off of the highs as well. Gold up five dollars at eighteen seventy. We were a solid almost eighteen dollars above there at eighteen eighty seven. Silver contract off forty cents at twenty two seventy five. Notes and bonds continuing the trend. Higher price and lower yield. Look at that pop. We got weekly jobless claims, folks. 1.41 million. We'll jump over to that in a moment. But the market reacting. Bonds trading higher. We're right now up uh, four ticks, we'll call it, at 139.21 in the 30-year. You're up a solid 18 ticks, excuse me. That was the 10-year, up about four ticks at 139.21. The 30-year up 18 ticks at 181.06. All right, we got to jump to the news of the day. We got a lot of news of the day, folks. We had Microsoft out with their numbers last night. They're lower, but they're off the lows. Tesla trading higher this morning. Weekly jobless claims, quite a number. So the total, 1.416 million. They were looking for 1.3. The worry here, that's actually a rise over last week. We're not going down. We're actually ticking back up. Okay, so before COVID, we had never had a weekly jobless claim number that exceeded 700,000. Look at these numbers, folks. Even during the worst of the worst, because it would take some time to play out, you were never getting these numbers. This is the 18th, 1-8 consecutive week of one plus million jobs initially claimed for weekly initial jobless claims, and we're now dealing about 1.4 million. Remarkable numbers, that number out at 8.30 this morning in the market reacting. Uh, Microsoft, Microsoft, revenue grew 13% despite the coronavirus, but the cloud growth slowed to 47%. Man, the grading curve that these tech stocks are graded on, they grew at 59% for their cloud last quarter. They only grew at 47% this quarter, and uh, Microsoft trading a little bit lower this morning, but like I mentioned, they're off the lows of about 205 or at 208 almost, and Tesla shares this morning trading higher at 1660. We also get Intel after the bell, Intel up a bit right now at 6115, and we get the king of them all, Amazon, as well. Stay tuned, folks. Larry Pesavento coming up live right now with Trade What You See. We'll be right back in three minutes. Stay tuned.